Today, I'm so excited to talk with you about finding your passion and living your life with purpose. I don't know about you, but when I first heard about these words, I was like, oh no, do I have a passion? Aren't I living my life with purpose already? But I have found out that you and me both have a lot of passions. It doesn't have to be just one thing, but it's like that thing that lights you up and makes you happy. And if you haven't discovered it or you really want help with it today, I wanna to do that for you because you deserve to live a life with more purpose. And when you find your passion, that makes it more possible. All these P words, they sound so confusing, right? But I have eight tips for you. And when you do find your purpose, you can live more happily, bottom line. So sometimes people tell me, I'm confused or I feel lost, I feel stuck. And that usually means that they don't know what they're passionate about. But when I think about my passions, I have a lot actually, it's not just one. I mean, I love being a mom, I love being a health and fitness coach, I love being a motivator, I am a wife, I'm a friend, I'm a sister. I'm passionate about all of these things, healthy eating, um, all of these things, those are passions, those are things that I love. And so it doesn't have to be like scientific or something that you think is like, oh my gosh, deep and crazy. It just needs to be things that are you, that speak about you and make you happy. So here are eight ways that I have used to discover my passions and live my life with purpose, so I wanna share them with you. My first way is slow down and breathe. So really, I want you to take a moment and just be like, I don't need to stress about this. Of course I wanna live my life with more purpose and I'm going to discover my passion, but I'm not going to make it something stressful. I'm just going to breathe through it and that will help me just really center myself and focus. So slow down and breathe. Number two is to change your story and your limiting beliefs. I learned through a really good friend of mine that we, when we have limiting beliefs in ourselves, it just stops us from living our potential. And so I want you to change your story. If you have thoughts about like, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I'll never be a success, I don't deserve to have passions or I don't have passions and I never will, I really want you to change your mindset and change your beliefs because you are worth it and you can be a success. It just might take a little bit of work, but it's good work and it's going to help change your life. Number three is own who you are and be unapologetically you. For so many years, I knew that I, I wanna motivate people and I wanna help change lives, but for some reason, I thought that, I, I didn't know if people really wanted to hear from me and, and I didn't know if, if it was okay to just share all that with people, but then I thought, you know what? God gave me a reason to be on this earth and a purpose, and I love to motivate people. It lights me up, and so I decided to own who I am. I want you to do the same thing. Be unapologetically you, and like my friend Shaleen always says, be you times two. God made one of you on this earth, and so own who you are. Number four, this is something that I know I work on every day, my girlfriends work on every single day, and that is work on building your confidence. Believe in yourself and everything that is possible for you, okay? If this takes working on yourself through personal development or joining some sort of support group, going to a seminar, you know, watching videos on confidence, something like that, work on you because when you are confident, you feel like you can take on the world and you deserve to go take on the world. Don't let anything stop you, especially those beliefs in yourself. So work on your confidence. Number five is find themes in your life. And what I mean by that is, what do you continually think about? What do you continually talk about and do and, and the things in your life that make you happy and light you up? So for me, it was motivating people, making people see that they can do more, helping people believe in themselves, helping people get over fear, helping people set goals. Um, health and fitness has always been something. Those are common themes, and that is how I have found what I love to do. So what lights you up? What gives you a fire in your belly? What, you know, what do you think about all the time? Find those common themes and you will discover your passions. Number six is get a journal or some sort of pad of paper, but I, I have a couple journals in my house myself. I love my passion planner. I use that to write all kinds of stuff, but the purpose is I want you to write freely in a quiet place. I love to go outside on my patio, especially if it's a nice sunny afternoon, and just in the quietness of my own thoughts, Write down what it is that you want in your life. 
What it is that you're thinking about? What it is that you want to share with people? What, what, what do you like? What are you struggling with even? What makes you happy? Write all of that down and, and it's amazing what comes to you when you're just with a pen and paper and quiet time. You will have mental clarity and you will learn so much about yourself. I feel like the world is so full of hustle and bustle and busyness and cell phones going off and you know Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, constant stuff happening all the time. But if you quiet the space around you and quiet everything else and take time for you and write freely, you can discover so much about yourself. It's going to be crazy. To discover your passions, I want you to allow yourself to focus on fun. What totally makes you happy? If you had endless amounts of money, what would you do with it? Life can get so boggled down with to-do lists and, and things that we must do. I want you to focus on fun. What makes you happy? What, what things do you just feel so excited about that you just can't stop thinking about it. That is when you discover your passions, seriously. If it's something that makes you smile, makes you laugh, makes you joyful, focus on that, do more of that. All right, and number eight, I'm just gonna wrap it up with my absolute favorite one because I feel like this is a theme in all of our lives and that is say goodbye to all of the fears and the doubts that are in your head or anything in your head that's telling you that you shouldn't dream and that, and that you don't have passions, forget that. Face the fear, do it anyway, and go after a life that you love so much, that you're so proud of, you wanna like get up on the rooftops and scream it to people. You deserve to have that happiness, but we let a lot of doubts and fears and, and judgment that we think we're gonna get from others, we let that hold us back. I want you to let go of that. If people are going to judge us for things that we love and talents that we have, and, and things that light us up and, and give us that purpose and fuel us, forget about them. You need to do you, and you need to let go of anything that's stopping you from living a life that's so crazy cool, a life that you absolutely love, and if that can lead to a business too and sharing that with other people, then oh my goodness, that's just a huge bonus. But I really want you to let go of those fears. You deserve to live a life with passion. And when you discover what those passions are, that will help you live your life with purpose. And that's all the point of life, you know what I mean? Is to have a purpose and to have something in your life that you are excited about. So, I hope that these eight ways to help you find your passion have helped you. I know they've helped me so much. I wake up every day so excited, which is why I wanna share them with you. So I hope this video helped you. Be sure to subscribe, give me your comments. I love hearing from you. Share this with a friend and go live your life with passion and with purpose because you deserve to be so crazy happy. See you on the next video.